This little duck is under the water. Look at it. Swimming. There it is. Crazy, huh? <laughs> Isn't that great? Where are we? In Rogotnica. First for, time for me. First time? This is like my fifth time. It's nice here though. It's a little yes. quiet. It's winter. It's winter Saturday. And there's not much going on, but it looks like a small place, Ooh, right? It's beautiful. I think we should go that way. Yeah, this way is kind of cool, and then this way is kind of cool. You have the church and stuff over there, and you have the Marina Frappa, and then you have the Dragon's Eye over there. The Dragon's Eye. The Dragon's Eye is a, a saltwater lake that you jump you jump off a cliff into. I've done that like many times. And here's Enzo. Just being a bad boy. Just being a bad boy. This seagull, this shit hawk here, has a fish out front of the Marina Frappa here, the famous Marina Frappa. It's November, look at them. They're scrapping, scrapping for the dead fish. Jeez, the seagulls, tough life out here for the seagulls. The shit hawks are real, real scrappy out here. But this is the famous Marina Frappa here in Rogoznica. There's a resort here and there's an underground bar and this is where you park all your super yachts and all the famous people come, you know? But we're also going to the Dragon's Eye, which is this way. It's November, so well, unfortunately it's a ghost town in the winter because all the tourists have gone home. And this is a beach des destination, obviously. So that means you can't swim really because it's cold for most people. But I don't know, we might take a dip. We might take a dip, but I didn't bring a towel. But uh, yeah, this is Rokasnitsa and we're walking to the famous Marina Frappa. I came here in 2016 and a few years ago. She, it's her first time. She thinks it's small and a little bit dead, but then again, this is November and it's kind of the off season. So I understand that. So this famous dragon eye, you're probably wondering what the dragon eye is. It's actually a saltwater lake. I think one of the only ones here in Croatia or Europe or something like that. Forget the actual facts of it, but yeah, there's a old folklore that if you go in with magnetic like jewelry or anything, the dragon will suck it because there's magnetic fields under there so the dragons will suck it down and trap you underneath the water if you wear some jewelry so don't go in there with jewelry people because the dragon will get you the magnetic dragon of Rogoznica this is Marina Frappa Square not much going on on this <laughs> there's some cars parking out there so yeah some cars a lot of yachts we got a consume Got somebody blasting music over there. It says reception this way. So let's go check it out, right? Let's go check out Marina Frappa Square, city center. Look at Enzo's loving it. Clearly see this is where all the sailboat yachts and the charters and super yachts get parked and docked for the winter here at Gorine Gospodinje. It's a beautiful little spot though, but I think this place is for the mega super super rich huge money. Look at this though. Beautiful. Beautiful little marina. Marina Frappa. Out front of the gentlemen's club. We got Enzo running amok around here, but look at all these rocks, these giant rocks. They have, uh, one has a tree root, the other one has some seals, this one has an anchor. This one I think is probably Jesus Christ. This one has a snail on top of it. That one's a tortoise. This one is fishes. What's that one? I don't know what that one is. That one's a dolphin. That one's a crab. That one's another fish. But it's pretty cool, isn't it? And that's a mermaid, obviously. Look at Jesus Christ's face right there. Jesus. And this is the resort here. You have like a swimming pool. 
swimming pool. They do live music in the summer. It's a pretty cool spot. I've been there plenty of times. Oh, that's squids. That's not fish. It's squids. And there's Enda. <laughs> See what I mean? Pool's empty. No tourists. So why keep it open? But here we are. This is a nice little spot. This is November in Croatia. Look how beautiful the weather is. Here's an old school little horse and carriage without the horse. Just the carriage. But look at this guy. Behind the Marina Frappa, you got the Dragon's Eye. The Dragon's Eye Lake. The Magnetic Field Lake. I gotta watch over him so he doesn't jump into the Dragon's Eye because he has a metal plate in his leg. No, I'm joking. But, um,. Yeah, this is it. I've jumped in here many of times. Many of times. Clip diving off here. I've done it. I got videos of it actually. But look at this place. The only saltwater lake around here. And Enzo still running amok. Running amok. Look at the little guy go. But look at this. Hey, eh? how beautiful this is. Ooh. You can see the sea on the other side. And I gotta run because this guy's too fast. Here's one of the jumping spots here. This is the small one. And you got the ladder to get back up. When I was here, we never had the ladder to get back up. But this is a cool little spot if you guys like a little hit out. Fun in the sun. A little fun in the sun. You can go up there if you're really adventurous. I remember I jumped in there with my GoPro. I had uh, the floaty thing on. Uh, I was pretty lucky to have the floaty thing on attached to the camera because when I jumped off I didn't expect the force to just hit you like that and I lost the camera and it went phew. but if I didn't have that floaty thing it would have sank right to the bottom I honestly did not know that you could see jellyfish in this I've never seen jellyfish in a while and apparently jellyfish huge jellyfish right here crazy eh? and I was just jumping in there like no nobody's business dang jellyfish i hate them things i don't want nobody to pee on me but look at this this is beautiful i've, I've never seen a jellyfish though. i've been here like at least five times i've never seen jellyfish but they say that jellyfish come in here it's like a the photoplankton kind i don't know what that means because i'm not a jellyfish expert but the photoplankton jellyfish look at this though beautiful isn't it Awesome, so jump in at your own discretion, if you're brave enough. I guess there's lots of crabs and lobsters too. Who knows, right? Who knows, but I did it, and I came out safe. So you could do it too. Are coastal cities worth visiting in November, December, January, and February here in Croatia? I'll say this, you get to see all these things without anybody here, so that's a plus, but then you also don't get to do a lot of things because a lot of things are closed. Like we just walked by like 10 spots, uh, restaurants, and they're all closed. We're gonna try to find some sort of food here. I don't know if we're gonna be lucky, but we did see a couple bars open. People were having coffees and beers already. It's about nine in the morning. So we're gonna go check it out. See maybe on the other side of the city to see if there's something to eat. Maybe some street food, a kebab, something fast, right? We don't know. We don't know, but we're gonna go check it out. And my voice just cracked, Jesus. I thought I was dying there for a second. But yeah, we're gonna go videotape the other side, check it out, and continue our Rogoznica day here in November. Is it worth coming to a place like this in November? Hmm, it's up to you, but look at this funky boat. That's a funky boat, isn't it? We're on our way across this lovely little bridge to the old town of Rogoznica. You got the church on the hill and Starry Grad. So we're gonna go check out Starry Grad, maybe have a coffee, check out uh, the food situation here. We don't know if the food is gonna be available yet, but we're gonna see. We wanna get our lips a little wet. 
a little wet. Our belly's filled, but I mean, it's November. All the places are done. But look at this, I stayed right over, I think there before. I stayed in Vasa's Apartmani Kata. Apartmani Kata, I stayed there for, I think a week, a week or two. Hmm. In 2016, beautiful time. So this is a beautiful place. You got all the fishing boats. Usually this place is filled with like markets in the summer. Little stands selling like kielbasa, fish, a whole bunch of stuff. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool little vibe here in the summertime for sure. I was walking down this way before in 2016 and my mom threw an ice cream at my head and it landed on my head. I was so mad at that time, but that brings back memories, you know? Whose mother throws an ice cream at their head? You know? She's 60. What's she doing throwing ice cream at her son's head? That's 40. like we expected zero restaurants are open even the kebab shop is not open so I don't know if we're gonna be able to find the coffee down here we will see but it's not looking good but it's still beautiful and it's a beautiful day here it's like what, what's the temperature like plus 17 yeah seven yeah it feels like 20 something but it says 17 on her watch who knows what's real right is my skin telling me the truth or is her watch? My skin feels like it's hot. Even in the shadows, it's hot. Oh, they got a post office, but guess what? It's not open. So far, if you're a tourist, in my humble opinion, coming to Rogoznica in November to February probably isn't the right choice. What do you think? No, I mean, probably it's cheap to rent here, and if you have a car, you can drive around, but yeah. it's not that close from something. Yeah, and it's like, if you just want to go to a grocery store, we've seen in the grocery store, there's like none that are open, except for the one by the highway. And this is where the church is. You go up the stairs here, up the church. So, this is Rogoznica in November. <laughs> Rogoznica in November. Should we try? Why not, right? Let's go up there. Let's go make some prayers. We can leave our stroller down here. This is where all the cochecitos are parked. So that's it, let's go. It's a beautiful town though, isn't it? Look at that wall. And that's it from Rogoznica here in Rogoznica in November. It's up to you guys. Do you guys like the deadly silence here? Or do you guys want the bu uh, busy bustle in the summer? Right now, you have everything to yourself, but like I said before, nothing's open. Nothing's open here in Rogoznica. So we're going back to Trogir and we're going to grab some food there because Trogir still has some places open. <laughs> But Shibanik is 45 minutes from here. Trogir is like 35 minutes. And then Split is another like, probably like an hour from here. So it's kind of a good spot. You come here for the beach and you can go to the bigger cities for day trips and all that stuff. So it's kind of a good location in the summer or in the winter. If you want to cheap out on apartments, you probably find a cheap apartment here. Maybe you can't, I don't know, I didn't look. I didn't look, maybe nobody's renting. But that's your choice if you come here in November. We are going to check out the house that we rented the last time in 2016 that we are here. I'm walking down here in Rogoznica. I don't think I can see it from this spot, but let's see. Let's see if Vasa's here. Yeah. See this house there? That's the house we rented. We stayed at the top floor. Vasa's house. Apart Mani Katica. Let's go. I don't know if I can get there from this side. No, it doesn't look like it.
Drogo Nitsa. <laughs>